Let's go ahead and glaze this thing, okay? Um, properly bedded. Was right. that? Properly bedded, right? It's properly bedded. Cool, cool. Yeah, it's it's like embedded means it's seated down in there. Okay, you got a nice bed for it to sit in. So now I'm going to take the glazing and similarly um, shove it in like I did with with the uh, with my thumb. But this time I'm going to use I can still use my thumb, but this time I'm going to use the palm. Okay, I'm just going to see like I'm going to push it here. Okay, like that. Okay. See how I'm pushing it in. I was scraping it off like like you know, like you got mud on your foot okay that's kind of how i'm doing it there and, I, and i'm going to take advantage of this position and and do all these angles right here see that okay okay now here comes the other hand The goal is just to get it in there, okay? And not worrying too much, like I'm putting too much, because you always have to put too much to start because you're gonna tool it away to the proper size, okay? So if you get way too much in there, I mean, whatever. I mean, now I'm gonna switch to my thumb method. You can also use your thumb to do it, okay? Um, different techniques okay see how that works maybe a little bit more here okay so mm -hmm. so I'll go this way huh I'll have some excess and I'll keep my excess you know with me in this little ball so I make it over your water okay like that okay so good so that's all I guess you would say that's loaded okay the sash is now loaded with putty okay so now is the time to tool it okay and your goal for tooling when you're tooling this is remember you got that you got that shelf up under there the glass is sitting on you want your finished line of your glazing to terminate on the inside of that but just on the inside okay you know you just gotta you gotta do it a couple times to kind of get the feel for it so i'm gonna start at one corner and i'm just gonna pull it like this okay and i'm gonna cut away the majority and here i'm gonna hop over my months in there okay See how that works? Okay, now. If you look closely, you can see the shadow of the shelf that's sitting on. Okay? That's good. That's what you want. Okay? And if you don't see it, okay, then keep carving it out until you do. Okay? So, the first thing you do. Start in the corner, okay? And no, I'm touching both the, the munt in here and the glass at the same time, okay? So you're just laying it over the wood? Yeah, okay. I'm using it, I'm using the wood and the glass is my gauge. But really the wood is my gauge. And I'm visually having to line it up down, you know, where that, you know, where the, where the, the shelf is, the, the glazing rabbit. Okay, I'm gonna come here. Do that. Okay. Isn't that nice? So I'm gonna give this to you. And I'm just a little bit. You turn you loose, okay? Are you guys starting to feel like this is something you could do? Uh, kind of, that kind of looks satisfying, I won't lie. 
Remember, it's not as easy as I'm making it look. Okay, I've done thousands of these stashes. Okay, so when don't get frustrated when it's not performing the same for me or for you as it is for me. All right, it's okay. You know, be merciful with yourself. You know, enjoy the process. You know, wonder at you know what's happening going why is this this way and then you know be okay with laughing at yourself because it's not doing what you're imagining it's supposed to do okay that's okay you know it's okay it's gonna be that way so now okay, i've done that i'm gonna do these here and bam. so the first thing you do is you cut off the majority okay and when I'm doing it, I'm not expecting my first cut to be like my finished cut, okay? I'm just, I'm getting it ballpark, you know what I'm saying? Sounds like if you're like lining up that with the, uh, with the grid kind of, right? Yeah. Yeah, getting it ballpark in alignment with the grid. That's a good question, brothers. See? That. Now look, I'm starting in the corner and I'm estimating about where I want my corner to be. What, I, what It's hard to explain what I'm doing there, but I'm trying to create my corner from the very beginning. Okay? So like, here I'm going to press it in See, I pressed in, I created my corner, I started from there. It's not so easy, you know? And then here, look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this corner chop here at about the angle, I'm trying to match the angle that my glazing is already. See that? Now here I'll do another corner chop there, see? There we go. Corner chop, see? That. I gotta do a corner chop here. There, see? I mean, it's not a perfect corner, but you know, it's ballpark. Okay. Here we go. Just gonna ride down the avenue there. So fun. Some people insist on doing this stuff barehanded, and I've done a lot of it barehanded, but you know, I've also learned to appreciate gloves. Look, see? Okay, so that's the, the first step is doing that large major cut. You know, with you guys, you've got one square, okay? So, you know, that's a lot easier to, to practice with and to see than try to get six of them right, okay? So I've got four times, I've got 24 corners I gotta do, right? Yeah, you got four. That's good, you can do four, all right? 24 is a little bit more intimidating, but I can do it pretty quick. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna, okay, and this is what you need to do, okay, is you finish your glazing by focusing, starting on your corners and working toward the middle, okay? I'm gonna start over here and I'm gonna, you can watch, see me feather it about the middle okay from one direction and then i'm going to feather it to out the middle in the other direction i'm not going to try to go all the way to the end and exit okay i'm just going to come in here and i'm going to see how i feathered it and i'm going to do it both ways see that okay see how i feathered it and now look do you notice how i'm doing it right and left-handed okay see how handy that is Okay. Oh, I didn't, I didn't do that on purpose, but I'll take it. <laughs> okay. See? See? Like that? Okay. Just shaping it. Coming down a line and mo focusing on my corners. If I get my corners right, most of everything else will fall into place pretty easy. There we go. 
this is only a, this step is only just for the outside of the window correct? yes that's true because the wood it, part of the window sash the molding the decorative molding that's what serves its purpose on the inside yeah. and we already sealed it we sealed it with our um, what do you call it um, uh, bedding you know, with the, yeah with the bedding you know so um that's already been done pretty much so it's got a nice seal in there now it will it need to be adjusted a little bit probably you know what i'm saying but you'll see in a, in a minute when i go to dust everything with the magic dust that um i can adjust a little bit as i go and because like okay because like one of the things that's important to see, I think, in the very beginning, when you're doing all the work, is important to see the finished product in your mind, okay? So that you know, like, when you go to, like, start taking things apart and putting it all back together, you're doing it in such a way so that you can achieve a certain look, right? And if you, um, you know, if you don't know what look you're trying to achieve, okay, and then you go start undoing your window you could be doing some damage that's going to make it hard for you to get the best possible look you see that okay so all right so there's that i'm almost done with my major tooling here okay i'm gonna have a little bit more after i do my magic dust because you'll see the magic dust will probably leave a little bit of damage that I've got to address you know but one of the things that's important uh, it's really important to know about the magic dust and to do your magic dust because if you don't then see all this fingerprint stuff all that stuff will cake on there and dry and oh it's hard to get off if you don't do it like right now you can you can get the razor blade out you gotta like get on both sides you know and you know it's it's just not what you would, just the fantasy that you had in your mind about what this work was going to be like, you know. If you get a fantasy in your head, you know that, oh, this is going to be so awesome. And then you're like, dude, my execution. But you didn't know about the proper order of operations, so you're not really to blame, you know. You just, you know, I mean, you just got to. Okay, so look, I got this um, this powder here. This is my magic dust brush. Okay, and I'm just gonna dip it in here. What's what's the powder called again? I'm sorry. I just call it my magic dust. But if you look over there on the table, it's just that easy sand that the 20 minute mud there. Okay. Okay. But instead of carrying the whole bag over here, I just put it in a little bucket like this. You know, because this this little bucket will last a little bit. And then what you do is you want to make sure you dust it all over yourself. Because, of course, that's what you want to do, you know, because you want to look professional with dust all over you, right? <laughs> so maybe it would be smart to get an apron, Mr. Quillian, and, and to have, a, you know, you don't get dust all over your clothes. But anyway, so you're going to get some on you. So I just it happened to be sooner and more aggressively than I was anticipating. So you see what I'm doing now? Dry it up. Yes. See, look, look. Look, look what it does to the, the finger prints. See? Okay? Disappearing. See? It's soaking up those oils. Okay? Now look, see how I'm going with the direction of the, the that, that, that line here? I'm not going this way. I'm going this way. And I'm using my brush. See how I'm losing the long part of my brush? I'm not going this way. I'm going this way. Okay? Okay? And on the corner here, I'm kind of going toward the middle, trying to get that, those little crumbs there. Okay, see how that is? Isn't that, isn't that nice? Okay. So, but you have, if you don't do it now, you can't do it. Okay? It doesn't work. Okay? So you just have a little magic dust like this. And, you know, go to town. you can see how the brush it might leave some brush marks you know on things like that and that's you know okay 
you can straighten all that stuff out. You know, I got, like I got little crumbs left, you know, I'm gonna come in and, and I'm gonna make sure I get that stuff off too. Okay. You know, I don't have to hold this thing in my pocket, in my hand, I can, I can put some on the panes like that, like that too, you know, so. Just, so. See how that works? And then I'm gonna pick it up and I'm gonna do it on the other side. Okay. Now this will be ready to paint by when? Thursday. 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 Alright. So we're gonna have a big, you know, painting day on Thursday maybe. Nice to do this outside, you know, because getting this all you know in like an enclosed room, you know, you can breathe in a whole lot more of this, you know what I'm saying? And that's not always very nice. Okay. So now I'm gonna pick it up, pick it up this way. Okay. See y'all, sorry about the dust, look at all that. See? You're gonna get some on you, okay? If you're gonna do a lot of it, I don't know, maybe you wear a mask, you know what I'm saying? don't want to like kill yourself okay unnecessarily okay there. now I got the fingerprints on the other side now my um I got my guy Israel back at the shop one of the things he would have already done this side here you know and this is being like already done like before I ever, I, I ever glazed the other the other side he he likes to get this stuff off then and, and there's advantage to that 